Commonwealth. Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4. We're playing as Commonwealth still, more like Common Russia. And last episode, I believe, we annexed Coruscant, I think? Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, so we're nice and making the world over here, well, Asia in particular, pink. We also fought for more of Australia, so our vassal, Common Zealand, who started over here in New Zealand, has now claimed pretty much all of Africa, except for two provinces that are now owned by Spain. But fuck those guys, who cares? Uh, we're still working on some cores, so we kind of have that that we're doing. Um, we're almost done, and then after that we really we really need to focus on tech, because if we don't, then we're not going to be able to get the achievement, and so as far as going expansion, we're going to, we're going to still expand, for sure, but we're going to, you know, temper it a bit, and shift focus to tech, because if we don't finish in the next 20 years, we're going to be, you know, not getting the achievement. So these annexations are slated to, so it looks like Mongolia is going to not finish until after... Until pretty much after everything, so we're never going to annex Mongolia. That sucks. Oh well. I mean, there's there's worse things, like not getting all of our tech. Is it 32, I believe, that we're in tech is over? Alright, we already have plus three advisors. We've had terrible kings the last couple of ones. I mean, if, if, we really, if we don't get the achievement, then it's not the end of the world. Because, I mean, we've got plenty of other ones doing this playthrough. And we'll get plenty more later. I'm not gonna cry too hard. Oop, nope. I hope our that our, our heir dies, because he's an idiot. And how old is our king? He must be like 60. 71. Holy shit, he's old. Why won't my heir die? <laughs> die, damn you, die. Missionaries are finishing up. Good work, guys. I think we're going we're, we're gonna to have serious issues. I don't think we're ever going to get to 100% religious unity. Just saying. Uh, can I undo policy? Do we, we have no policies actually anyways, so never mind. Because I was thinking we could use more points. Oh well, uh, let's go ahead and finish off these cores. Alright, so we only need 140 more points and then we're done. No more cores. For the time being. And even if we annex uh, Yusteng and Mongolia, hopefully, which might maybe happen, um, <laughs> then we'll be okay though. Alright, manage our over Sinjang. Come on, let's get this shit done. We get a lot of points per month, but I would love to have more, so I'm gonna try my best to kill my heir. Because he's an idiot. He's a real dummy. Let's do another core. And then we should we should avert disaster. Because we'll have zero overextension and then uh, that'll be then less than one national unrest. How nice. Uh, we're, we're, it's time for tech up in military, so we're not going to do the anything. We already have all of the best units, which is cool. We got some cores rolling in. There we go, look at that, national unrest, so our thing went away. Hooray! No internal conflict! Only 60 more points and then we can do that, and then we're done. No more, no more points wasted. Oh, look at that, and we even got uh, 10 points from that event. The game wants us to win. We have gained trade dispute against Britain. Okay. Who are our rivals? 
France. France, the auto derps. Let's let's do we have them embargoed? No. Yeah, let's get these guys home and embargo them. Alderan. Cause we can embargo them for no penalty. Well, look at that, we're going to integrate Yustang now. And... boom. Yustang is integrated. So unfortunately, we will have the minus thing for subjects. But that should go away, right? Um, when does that go away? 1816, so that should go away enough time for us to finish Mongolia. Which is cool. Apparently we are going to have a disaster again. I'm sure we'll be okay. I'm not going to do harsh treatment because we actually need to uh, do our thing. So we're going to let them revolt and then we'll kill them. Or we could just uh, raise their little... Oh no, they're going to be bitches about it, so never mind. But hopefully our king will die. Let's raise the... Uh... Autonomy. Hmm. Unfortunately, the autonomy is all the way raised over here. Oh well. Yustang has some nice, easy to convert Buddhist provinces, so not too too sad. Our Commonwealth name is slowly slinking down, just like. <laughs> and soon, uh, with Mongolia annexed, I think it'll change maybe to a little bit more like. Like this, like, like diagonal, like down. But we'll see. It'll be very interesting. Cool. Uh, damn it, our guy didn't die though. Ooh, building power. That's cool. Land force limit modifier plus fifty percent for finishing the quantity ideas. That's definitely worth it. So hopefully we can finish that. We still have 13 years till the next tech, 1820 is when it's time to tech up, I guess, the last one. I forget when this game ends, is it like, I think it's 1821, so. Yeah, nope, spending no more points. We need to have just only the best advisors. I'm highly tempted to throw this guy out. Can we please kill this guy? Can we can we have a different king? Someone with better and and kill our heir too. Wow, how quaint! They're gonna. Uh, that's not good. And our heir is no better. Oh, he sucks. All right, well, we really need to catch up on our Diplotech. Unfortunately, though, I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I need, I need the, the guy to annex Mongolia. I'd rather, honestly, at the end of the game, have Mongolia annexed. So we're going to prioritize Mongolia being annexed as opposed to Diplo power at this moment. So let's do that. Ooh. Yay, he died. Oh my god, this guy's even worse. What's with these weird, these shitty-ass kings? God damn it. Y'all suck. <sighs> We're not over our limit, are we? No. And this uh, annexation is only eating four per month, so we're going to gain four per month. It's fine. We'll, we'll lose a little legitimacy. I'm never going to lose points for the rest of the game, because that's going to. That could make the difference. My poor forts are so shit. <laughs> they had a level 5 there, I guess. Are these both like level 6 forts? Oh no, this is a level 4 fort. Cool. Conversions are going nicely, at least. Okay, we'll just zoom out and, and enjoy the view as we 
are super fucking massive and awesome. So we touched like the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, everything. I like how uh, Japan. I'm just gonna leave Japan there, like, cause they look like it's part of us anyway. So there's no point. We'll just we'll just pretend they're us. Hmm, Japan. <sighs> the new world is very interesting. Canada is pretty OP. Although I think English Mexico is probably the most OP. Gain another core. Our looming disaster. I don't know what the hell is. Our overextension is not going to cut it anymore. Why is this so much? Increased centralization. Oh, I think that shit's hurting us. Oh well. We're going to get more religiously uh, united. Religious unity. So hopefully that'll help more. Uh. 50 prestige and 9 million ducats. I think I'll take the money. Um, we're probably going to go to war with the coalition. Because, I mean, Mongolia has been a good vassal. Look at them. Mongolia has all these claims. So let's, let's feed. All right, our our cores are done, so we can we can afford to go to war. We're not going to raise war taxes or anything, so don't don't worry about that. I'm not going to spend points that way. Um. So who are we going to be fighting here? And uh, let's please please come. The Itari will not come. That's okay though. Uh, they might come right after. So let's let's pick one the the closest one. Uh, Hai Yunnan. Alright, so once they call the coalition, the uh, HRE might come. Which they call immediately, so let's see. Oh well, alright, so let's go kick some ass. And we're of course going to have our brilliant king. And our brilliant heir at the helm of every battle. Oh, he has to be 15? He's only 10 and he's that stupid? God damn. Kids these days. Alright, so really Delhi is the only one that's gonna kinda be let free to siege us back. But I don't, I, even if they siege us, it's not that big a deal. Ooh, Karakwainli rebels. They're fighting Karakwainli soldiers. Good for them. That's hilarious. Bye bye, Karakwine Lewis Army. I'll see you later. Okay, uh. Oh. That's a really deep lake. Alright, and then we're gonna just go and siege up this war leader here. Alright, then we don't have any other armies just around here, do we? You know what, I'm going to send this army over here and it's going to siege this. Now Mongolia, I do not believe, is westernized. They are still nomads, so their troops are terrible. Just god-awful. Um, let's get our awesome general over here and we're going to have them just rush, bum rush. Battle in Nanchang worked. Good. Good boys. Good men. All ye. Let's get our general over here as soon as he crosses into our friendly territory. Got some conversions to do. What tech are they? It's 27? So yeah, we still have the tech advantage, definitely. So even though they're Western, and they still have Chinese units, which suck. So there's not really an advantage for them to be Western, sadly. I mean, I, I miss the old days where you could Westernize and then have Western units too, because that, that was actually pretty OP. Like, you could be China and actually do something with your life. 
as opposed to just getting wrecked by me. Oh well. Just goes to show you, you gotta deal with your unit type for the rest of your life. Why are we still at zero war score? That's what I want to know. Defender calls controls heal on. Well, how about this? There's three holes in the wall, so they'll probably die. Oh, really? Damn it. Oh, well. Let's get some mercenary armies over here. Wow, that's actually a lot of Delhi shit. Delhi, what tech are you? 23. Oh, yeah, you're dumb. Okay, who gives a shit? I'll let my nomads fight you. The Mongolian nomads. I believe though when the uh, Mongolia would, if they, um, if they f change their government, they get different tech. But whatever. What military level are they? 30? They're really good military tech, or level. I guess we're gonna hire a general. Are you serious? We really got that shitty of a general, and our tradition is. Uh, it's not that good, so I guess I see. send these armies down there to go and fight the good fight. Ming looks like they're gonna beat us here. We'll retreat out of there. Get these bitches over here. What's this, Persia? That's weird. Wow, we're seriously going to lose against fucking rebels? Holy shit. Did my dumbass general die already? Where is he? Where is this dumb bitch? Ugh. Why does it keep making the rebel noise but not telling me where the rebels are? It's annoying. Like, look at this shit. It didn't tell me fucking balls about this. Why would you not think to tell me? There's no pop-ups or nothing. No, go there. Okay. This is just a lot to manage, especially with this fucking revolt. Like, that didn't happen. You didn't tell me shit about that. Okay, uh... Where's my king? Alright, well, at least he's doing a good job. At least we, we say, you know, conquered this island. We can have the whole Philippines to ourselves. How do you create a new unit? Sweet. 
All right, so that's how you get your leader back if he's in hostile territory without actually sending him back to regular territory. Isn't that nice? We'll drop a siege and attack. Let's go kill those rebels. More mercenaries. Scandinavia rivaled us, unfortunately. Uh, Ming's army is nowhere to be seen. We're gonna go take out those particularists. We really lost 30,000 men against them. Oh no, we must have built an army there. Well, that sucks. Poor guys. Let's merge together here. Okay. And get our bullshit king. Alright, and we're gonna send these 50k to go and help against uh, Delhi. And we're going to go in and kill all this shit. Attack. Attack. Good, we won the battle there. That's nice to know that we're not going to fail against the stack of one. We lost the effect of Western's arm trade for some reason. I don't know why. I don't really know how that mechanic works. It's probably something I should have looked up, especially as paying as an Eastern nation. Where it's like critical to how your tech works. Alright, so I'm assuming that, um, that we can just split this guy and have him go crazy siege mode. Luckily, we have a shitload of manpower, so, like, these current. these wars won't hurt us much. Even though we're, like, constantly fighting. We're gonna need more troops over here. Okay, um, let's actually have this 40 stack, let's get you a general, and have you march over and kill those guys, and then we'll go invade Delhi with you. You guys just stand there with each other. Uh, we'll assault that I guess. Alright, we take that back, good. We'll need to send these troops to fight uh, Delhi. Alright. These troops can go fight Delhi as well since they're done. <sighs> um, noble family wants money. That's okay. We have a shitload of money. That's fine. We can actually go siege Afghanistan. This uh, stack of uh, gazillion needs to die. Alright, so they're taking so much attrition. We're gonna try to kill them here. Alright, we don't have a general, so we might get fucked, but I think it's worth it. We're gonna drop a siege and get this guy out of combat so that maybe we can send him in. Oh, please tell me we have a good regency. Okay, it's okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either, so... The game had mercy on us. Too bad we can't murder our own 12-year-old son or whatever, heir thing. 
These are what? Woo? Who the hell are they gonna flip to? It's really weird. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? We're not gonna win this fight? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, it looks like we will win now. And Leo Zhao, sweet. Alright, we'll follow them. Probably gonna go up to like here or something. Um, unassign. Actually, let's see if we can't get there with the cavalry, because they're a little quicker than your average unit. Okay. They know what to do there. Mer move up. This 54 stack is just going to go balls deep. Um, how far ahead are we still? Can we afford to grab another general right away? I guess we could afford it. Because we're still like 10 years ahead. Hopefully it won't come back to haunt me. Alright, he's okay. Not the best general, but he'll do. Alright, get in there. Kick some ass. Take some names. So yeah, we're going to get surround on them, and then we're going to go on them hard. Alright, sieges are finishing over here. We're going to have them go up and help siege, I guess, Sind. Ugh. This coalition is like pretty annoying, but it's not strong, so that's, I guess, kind of a good trade-off. Even though it's annoying to fight all these different, like, this huge southern front, it's not as terrible as it could have been, as far as like if they were really strong. The other thing that's nice is that um, we don't have to worry too much about, um, we don't, our vassals will like us, because we're going to give them, we're, especially Mongolia is going to get all their claims, so they'll be happy for that. Let's go up here and kill these two armies of Ming. Oh sweet, so we got that. That's good. Um, let's take a look at our peace deal that we can get maybe. I want to get this too. Just want to know about how much we're going to have to lie and steal. It's not too bad. We'll probably get that. Alright, we're gonna drop sieges here and here. Alright, so the l little armies, those are sieging armies. Alright. They shouldn't be able to get out, hopefully. Or at least they, a little bit of them did, I guess. But we, we squished them, so that's that was actually worked out nice. We're going to first march after him. Now we're invading India. With this 50 stack. Okay. And we've got, we've got these sieges that need to keep on going, moving. Send this army to their capital. Alright, and then we're going to get our general over here. We're going to go sit on their face. Die Ming, you little bastard. Alright, we're gonna chase this army just so that we squish it for sure. Where are they going? They look like they're going to Changsu. Changsha. Okay. We're gonna stop there and we will uh, uh, select army. Alright, and we're gonna go chase after them. Wherever the hell they went, there they are. Let's see if we can't catch them just real fast. We have Force March, so we should be able to. There we go. Alright, they eluded our grasp for the last time, and we crushed them. All in all, a good day's work. Alright, so let's, uh, let's start the carpet sieges.
Especially like their capital and stuff. Alright, looks good. Let's see if we can catch them here. Yep. Alright, and then I'm gonna send these 4,000 guys just to go siege that. And I'm gonna send these guys down here to siege that. And you guys can move on to there. And you guys can move on to over here. Alright. Let's get the India started. All done. Cool. Alright. Let's go kill this Sindh army real fast. Just while they're standing there doing nothing. There's like Afghanistan. Oh no, that's Afghanistan's army. Okay. Yeah, we'll kill them. Sakat is over. Cool. How are we doing on our getting rid of that um, thing? It's 16. Oh, we need a guy. Shit. How could I forget that? Alright guys, that's going to about do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.